Hello, today I wanted to present some of the information I've learned about making perfect rafts in Simplify 3D. And we'll be going into the actual software in a minute. I just wanted to briefly run down so you understand what's going on when I'm in the software. And just so you know, you do need to have 4.0.1. It might kind of work on other versions, but this is definitely the best version for creating these type of rafts, mostly because in the next version, I think 4.0.2, it breaks the uh, support and in all versions past 4.0.2 it breaks um, first layer width so you're not allowed to change that and you will have to save it as a factory file this doesn't work for profiles and you will have to create a factory file for each layer height that you will want to print at at some point and then you can just open it up as a blank factory file and import your parts. It actually works a little bit better in my opinion than profiles, but it is a little bit annoying if you haven't worked with factory files before. So the first thing you'll want to look into is just first layer width and speed. And I'm just going to leave this up, you know, if you want to come look at the settings, but just know that that's one setting you should probably change. And we will need multiple processes. This will be explained a little bit better once we actually open up Simplify 3D. But Basically, you're going to create three different layers, one that touches the base, one that touches the layer that touches the base, and then every other layer will be its own process. Well, not every single layer, I'm sorry. I meant the rest of the part will be its own process. And just so you know, when you get done watching this video, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. And if you have anything to add, please do. So here we are in Simplify 3D, and I just have one process already created. It's the Prusa Research Standard Mark II. I'm sure a lot of people have this printer, so I figured it would be a good example. And then the first thing to mention is this is going to be under your advanced settings. So you will need to click Show Advanced so you can see everything if you don't already have that clicked. And if not, you should probably have that clicked. There's a lot of good things to look through. And basically, all of your settings for your standard profile can stay the same. The only things that you'll really want to change is your first layer width which should probably be about 180%. Your first layer height, which should be probably 110%, but this one's not nearly as important as the width. And then the speed, just slow it down. The, you're not wasting too much time on that first layer compared to you know if you get a failed print. So just slow it down, make sure it's dispensing enough plastic, You know your motors aren't skipping or anything. And then you will want to have your raft selected. And for me personally, these are the settings that I like. I'll move my mouse so you can actually see them. The only thing I would mention is the separation distance. I typically like a little bit more for PLA. I find it sticks better to the raft and it needs a little bit more separation. And uh, top infill, I typically like it at 85% just because you don't want it to stick super well to that raft. And 85% is a good balance of it sticking well enough to print and being very easy to separate, especially with the uh, trick I'm going to show you in a bit here. And other than that, you can have just standard settings for everything else, but that is what you need to change. And here's the trick, actually. So you'll go to Tools, Variable Settings Wizard. You can also change this manually in the actual profile, but this is the easier way to do it. And you do need to check one thing, though. So you got to go to your layer, and you got to see this layer height. So primary layer height, for example, I'm using 0.22. And then for your first height, 0.22, which is the exact same as your layer height. And then 0.44, which is two times your layer height. And then point, well, actually, you don't need a third one. So it'll split into thirds. So what you're saying is, you're going to have settings for the first layer, the second layer, and all subsequent layers. And then we'll just hit split process. And now we have three settings. So now you can go into the second one. This is the most important one. And you'll set your extrusion multiplier to 0.2, to 1.2. I think probably around 1.2 to 1.25 is the best, but I find 1.2 works and you don't want to over extrude on this layer. And the reason this works so well is, let's get this going, is if you see down here at the bottom, you have your 
your raft layer. And then for your first process, you'll print this layer. And you'll just print it like a standard raft, you know, normal extrusion multiplier on there. And that's where you get your separation, your good separation. The issue is sometimes this layer sticks too well to the raft and then it separates. So what we do is in the second layer we print, your second process, well, you can't see it in the software because it doesn't actually show extrusion multiplication because that's a process that's implemented on the actual extruder position instead of, you know, for example, like a layer width. And then you go through here and you see that, well, you can't see, and then this layer will squish a whole bunch more plastic. It makes up for the fact that there's a little air gap here and that'll stick really well. And now it'll separate from the raft very nicely. And then the rest of the layers are just your standard profile. And this is a really fantastic way to make rafts. I haven't had any issues with these at all. Once you get them set up, they're perfect every time. So then the final thing you want to do is make sure you don't have anything on the bed. And then you will save factory file as. And save it as something like, you know, 0.22 millimeter layer Prusa Mark II. And that'll get you going. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions or comments you'd like to add, please just put them in the comments. Thank you.